we are getting some big buffs and some big nerfs to our operators. So stay tuned to find out. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so patch Y4 S2 has been released, or is being released today, and boy do we need to talk. <laughs> um, before we get into that though, I did find an article on a website uh, by PC Games. Um, I don't know how reliable it is, and I never read the article that was provided by Ubisoft, so I'm not 100% sure how factual this is, but... Um, they did give some information on the upcoming seasons for Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, one being that we are going to get a canal map rework on the next uh, season. And then the following season we're also going to get a theme park rework. So I'm pretty stoked about those. Those are the two maps that I would have wanted overall to be reworked. So that's very encouraging. Um, Next season, we're supposed to be getting one operator from Peru and one operator from Mexico. And then the following season, we're supposed to get one from Kenya and one from India. So it's going to be interesting to see what Ubisoft comes up with. Um, you know, there's not much to go off of right now, but I'm stoked to see what they bring to the table with these guys. Um, but that's what we have to look forward to as far as the next seasons come, as long as this source is kind of reliable. I'm not 100% sure again, but hey. So the patch this patch um, is bringing a lot of changes that some of you are gonna like and some of you aren't gonna like um, for starters they are now balancing um, you know the effects around shields now most of you that run shields know you got instant kill when you melee somebody with the shield uh, some of these guys you can just laser people with I mean, you get a lot of potential off of playing with shields, but um, now that this patch is out of testing and into going into the game, we're going to be seeing a lot of a lot of different uh, outcomes to what you're used to. So with the balancing of the shields, they have uh, the hip fire cone is going to be increased, meaning you're no longer just going to shoot in the kind of an ash hitbox circle now it's going to be expanded meaning that your bullets will have a wider range of travel and not necessarily um, straight to your target per se um, what they wrote on the website was having a shield will now increase the hip fire penalization by the same amount uh, and the spread has increased for every operator when a shield is equipped so if you're a Blitz player, a Montane player, and you're running Shield, you're no longer going to be having a cone that's tiny. You're going to be having a larger cone, meaning it's going to be harder to hit your target. On that note, <laughs> the Ballistic Shield melee now is no longer going to be an instant kill. It's going to be, um, you're either going to, you're going to injure and down a person. Um, at which that point you could probably melee them again and kill them. So even though they're putting this into the game, doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's still not going to be as easy to kill your opponent. It just depends on the situation in which you find yourself. Um, but yeah. Then we all, for all of you TKers out there, um, they are now <laughs> they're now. Um, adding a few things to kind of make it a little harder to be that person um, if you put a teammate down so I say you play cavi and you down your your teammate because you're for whatever reason you guys know um, if you do that it will now activate reverse friendly fire vive the teammate that you down that you're trying to TK it will remove the RFF or the reverse friendly fire activation from you if um, the person that you down bleeds out, 
they now have the intention to activate that, uh, which will be prompted on their screen. So they can tell if it's intentional or not. So, yeah, the changes don't seem that big, but at the same time, that makes it a lot harder if you're a T somebody who loves to TK your teammates to be that person, um, which is good because it, you know, some games it just gets annoying when that's you're just there to play and you don't really want to be toxic. Yeah, no, most of you are. Don't worry, got it. Um, they also have included an idle kick timer which will display 10 seconds before being kicked. Now this is nice. I can't tell you how many times I've come across, uh, like I've been idle just for a little bit because I've had to do something for the family or I'm in the middle of playing and something comes up and I just get kicked. Like I have no idea that I'm even idle that long. Um, so this is a good notification. It's a little thing, it's a minor thing, but it's great to have as a part of the game. We have a list of nerfs and we have a list of buffs. Um, Echo. Thank you, Ubisoft. Echo uh, Yokai Sonic Burst is getting a nerf. The effect of disorientation upon the opponent that gets hit by the Yokai Sonic Blast will only last um, seven seconds now, minus the ten or from the ten seconds that it used to last. So that's nice. Um, it's a minor nerf, but. I'll take it. I mean, the duration lasts way too long, and he hits you again and again and again. It's still going to happen, but at least you have more of a chance of getting away. Uh, Glass is actually getting a buff. Um, they're reducing the time to trigger vision penalty movement before complete vision is lost. It's now going to be 6 seconds up from 2.5 seconds. Speed at which this penalty is applied when rotating has also been slowed down uh, to prevent it from being applied quicker. Uh, Jackal's getting a nerf and <laughs> another great thing. Uh, the reduced number of pings from a scan to four, which will be down from five, so just one second or one scan difference, reduced time being tracked by five seconds. So no longer will Jackal be holding you to it unless you find your footprints near a door that isn't being overly guarded by one of your teammates or yourself so i mean again with all these nerfs and all these buffs you know being our six player we find our way around it and these are great but they're also going to still still be toxic constantly annoyed by maverick and his silent torch um they have actually modified the sound effects for his torch so if he's closer to you now and he's breaching a hole you'll be able to hear him a lot easier so that'll make it a lot easier to <laughs> make sure that you're not getting shot through the wall um, and then note or knock is, it knock, or knock? knock is getting a buff um, so her ability is going to remain for 12 seconds and her refill timer is going to be 12 seconds so they're balancing out you know when you can use it or for how long you can use it and then how long it's going to take to refill so it's good and it's bad um, I think it's going to balance out her character a lot I think it's going to make her a lot more seamless because you'll know how to use, when to use it, how to use it, and it'll give you more time to get from camera to camera or however you want to, you know, acquire that. And then Ubisoft also loaded in some bug fixes. Um, I guess during the last little bit, people have been complaining that uh, weapons could not be reloaded after emptying the magazines. Ubisoft's gone ahead and fixed that. They've also fixed the level design on Cafe so that players can no longer spawn peak dock. But I have a few ideas in mind in which we can still make that work. Um, and then the biggest correction that I've seen and I'm really excited about is players that are unable to reconnect during a ranked section, ranked session via the dynamic play button and remain in queue unless they relaunch. Now, this has been a huge issue for a long time with Rainbow, at least for the time that I played and I've been playing for a while now. Um, you know, we tend to not be able to get back in. We have to relaunch the game and then try to get back in. Um, but apparently they've gone ahead and fixed it. So hopefully this is true and valid and it won't be a problem anymore. <laughs> and then I guess some players have had a problem where Mirror's uh, Mirror won't bust through the other side of the wall once they put it into a reinforced wall. They've also gone ahead and fixed that. 
that's um, that's the entire patch notes, um, at least the important fixes. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. I mean, there's gonna be some things that are kind of. I mean, if you're an Echo main, you're gonna be kind of pissed, or if you're Echo main, you're gonna be pretty upset. But other than that, guys, I mean. To be honest, this patch seems like it's going to be one of the better ones. It's coming in uh, and balancing out the game, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah. Just want to give you guys a quick update. This is all you need to know about, you know, the new patch that's out today. And uh, good luck. <laughs> you have to get used to those ballistic shields not doing as much damage anymore. Uh, but thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you later. Zone, homie, say you ready and prepared. Take a minute, make them aware. Well, I'll be sneaking in the back. Just want to clap when life ain't fair. Caught me crawling through the mud where the vision saw it clearly. Born a shepherd to the sheep. Never give me this a war zone. Trashed out, trap house.